Hello, my name is Emily Brown. I'm a student at Waldorf University, and this is my final presentation for leadership and management. For this assignment, I had to observe a nurse uh, higher level than me, and for this presentation, I decided I would observe our DON. Where I work, it's a critical access hospital where we can have 16 people in the med search unit, and we have four ER rooms. I decided to do the DON of our hospital because she holds a lot of responsibility, not just as the DON, but she also wears many hats working in the critical access. For example, her job description includes the following. She must manage the activities and staff in the department. She must manage the necessary staffing roles and make sure every shift is covered. She must look at the budget and make sure that the managers are doing their job by budgeting monthly correctly. She must review, revise, submit, and incorporate different policies and procedures into our area. She is the one that you that you interview with when you hire someone new. She orientates you to the floor and to the hospital and she evaluates you and if necessary she's the one that's going to fire you. She coordinates activities, um, QCI activities for the area. It makes sure that we are following our procedures and monitors our goals for us. She approves and uh, approves and contributes to the educational programs for our area and she also helps with communication and various other things by attending activities attending activities and attending meetings. Um, along with that job description she has to get some other things she does. She looks at all the scopes of practices and makes sure we're up to date on everything. She monitors the chart and charting that we do on the floor. She helps with the providers. She helps with documentation. She does a ton of research and that's one of her biggest jobs as the DON. She helps com um, with conflict resolution. She helps re recruiting and retaining uh, nurses. Currently at our facility, we are looking for a night shift nurse. So one of the things that she helps with is increasing the differential from $1 to $3. Um, we have a new retainment program that if you are there for a few years, you can look into getting a $5,000 bonus. And we are all currently offering a $10,000 sign-up bonus, so that's something she does. She has with education, such as the skills fairs that we do once a year. Um, and she helps with making committees to help with procedures. She decides changes by really looking at the research of what's going on, and especially best practices. Um, patient care and quality care for patients is one of the biggest things she looks at. She looks at our patient population to help with staffing. And once a month, she gets in a meeting with the other DONs around the area to help um, coordinate and ask them, you know, what are you guys doing in your facility? What's something that has worked for you guys? And what's something that, you know, might need improvement on? Um, she communicates with us mostly through emails, but she also, we have huddle notes that we read weekly, daily, depending on when she sends them out. And we have a Bright Ideas folder that we can submit what we want and our input on the floor. Some of the challenges she feels like is she's tied to the office a lot, um, especially with COVID. She is one of our, she's also our infection control nurse. So she's really looking at how we can, you know, reduce the risk of COVID being spread throughout the hospital and how to keep our patients and staff safe. Um, she feels like recruiting and retaining staff right now is very hard, especially with um, COVID. Again, you know, there's a lot going on in the world with the mandate of the vaccine and just seeing different staff. And since everywhere short, the nursing shortage is a, a thing. Um, recruiting people has been hard lately. She's been the deal in for six years currently. Some of the positives about her leadership style is she's someone She's a very personal person. She's someone you can go to for anything. Um, she's someone that I believe that if I have an issue, I can go to her. Another thing about her leadership style is like she knows when she can be friendly with you and she knows when she has to be a leader. For example, when it comes to patient safety and, you know, infection control, she is going to crack down on these policies and make sure that they are getting done right, not only for the safety of the patient but for the safety of the staff and a third leadership I 
style I like of hers is that she does ask for our opinions. You know, there's a lot of leaders out there that just use their power and their authority, and it is what it is. If this is policy, this is policy, but she's someone that you can actually talk to about what's going on and bring up ideas to her. This needs to change or that needs to change. And part of that might be you actually looking at the research and you doing the policy and her evaluating what you find as a um, as a staff member. Um, policies, you know, she, we have committees at our facility to help with policies and she does oversee all of those. But it's also her way of the staff helping out and her delegating those roles to people. So I really enjoy that she's looking at her input as a staff. My experience as a whole was a lot different than I thought it was. Um, coming into there, I wasn't 100% sure what to ask her. I kind of honestly just kind of went off the top of my head for some of the things. And other things just came naturally. Um, for example, like asking her how she communicates, what all of her roles were, and what are some difficulties she faces with something I just kind of came up with. Um, but I feel like it taught me that she does a lot. Like, on top of everything she does in the office that she feels tied down to, she also does pick up, um, she picks up shifts with us and does help out even if she hasn't been on the floor for a while. That is something she will help with. And that's a lot of responsibility. I mean, not only is she the deal in at the hospital, she's picking up shifts, she, we had, have called her in the middle of the night like she does a lot and she's really tied down to this job which is a pro and it can be a con at the same time um I did ask her you know where some things she does to kind of get away from the job and she consistently is always spending time with family and trying to relax at home I think this changed my view of management because I didn't realize how much behind the work behind the scenes work she does like I know she does a lot but it also showed me like how much research she does. Research is a huge thing um, that she does. And it affects everything that happens in our hospital. Um, the leadership opportunities that this is, experience has showed me is that, you know, just to like take a step back if there's a problem and really look at the situation. Um, do some research here and there to help out. One of the things we talked about is that she wanted to do a presentation on workplace violence. And that's something I've just previously researched and is actually going to possibly be presenting to the um, to our staff. So she wrote me down for it. And so that's something, you know, it's kind of a different learning opportunity for me to kind of look back into my project a little more. Um, overall, I feel like this was a really good experience. It showed me that the DON does a lot more work. And some of it, for Susie particularly, is because we are a critical access hospital and she wears a lot of hats. And honestly, I'm thankful for the work that she does for our facility. Thank you.